coolest thing about exploratory trips is really the unknown. You're going to a place that hasn't been fished before by anybody in our industry, which is kayak fishing. And, you know, it, it's exciting. You, you don't know what challenges will await you. There's been some concerns and stuff from, from fishermen about safety and, and uh, issues with drug cartels and, and stuff like that out here on the lake. I've been coming out here for probably about a year now and haven't had any issues. The lodge is really nice. People are really friendly and really never seen anything that, that would concern me or, or, or bother me as far as safety is concerned. Wake up from the day, dream feel you Your body, thoughts, and limbs reunite. So come on, rock it, two step, shake them. Vibe Seagulls has been really good to us so far out here in this type of lake setting. This was uh, really the first trip that we took out into a, a lake with these Vibe Kayaks. Now we predominantly fish saltwater, but the unique thing about Vibe Kayaks and really what, what, what I enjoy out of them is, is really that they come with everything you need. You know, it's a pick up and go style kayak where you, you get your rudder already installed, your paddle is ready to go, and then you have a really extremely comfortable seat and you just don't find that right now in the market. So it's a big plus for Vibe and I think it's a great kayak, like I said, especially for this type of fishing. If you go and, and you talk to folks that have been out with John, man, I mean, this guy is just, he busts his butt to put people on big fish, and that's what it's all about, going out there and, and chasing that trophy bass. And the unique thing about Sugar Lake is, is a lot of these average fish out here are, are really a fantastic day out here in the States. So that's what makes this so special. And it's just a matter of time before you hit that big 10 plus bass, a once in a lifetime bass. Get up. <laughs> yeah. That too. <laughs> the strategy that, that we're really using it is flipping and pitching, and it's really testing our accuracy. And even when we are accurate and we're flipping in the middle of that tree, which is, is what we're trying to do, you know, by the time we realize we have a fish, 
we're already tangled up. And so that's basically our, our biggest challenge at the moment. And that is something that Russ found out pretty early. The funny thing, man, is Russ was ready, man. He was already poking around with his paddle, and he was ready to jump out of the kayak and undo the knot just on foot. And, and John Adamai was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Got you, bro. You know, just hang on, and I'll, I'll be right there. <laughs> The history of Sugar Lake is really quite interesting. What we've sort of stumbled upon without really realizing it is, is Sugar Lake was actually uh, built by German engineers under Adolf Hitler. And so the history of this lake goes way back to World War II. And if you're a history buff, it's really quite remarkable to, to realize how close uh, German influences uh, were to U.S. territory. So paddling through history like this, you know, it just, you know, it really kind of slows me down and, and it makes me look around and realize, you know, just how lucky we are to be able to paddle this area. John is really working hard on I mean, keeping us busy, keeping us on top of fish. You're constantly working, you know. I mean, you're getting your money's worth. You're sticking and moving. He's always working. And honestly, man, I, we really couldn't ask for more out of a guide. Uh, this is an easy way for a bass fisherman to get spoiled catching bass out in Sugar Lake here in Mexico. Just what, uh, 30 minutes outside the border from yeah, Zapata? Yeah, about a 30 minute drive from, uh, from Roma okay. to, to get here. Again, we can look you up on Facebook or... or yeah, Facebook or uh, email. Brokenbraid. Uh, Brokenbraid.com. Brokenbraid.com. Yeah, my email is okay. john at brokenbraid.com or uh, you can contact me on my cell phone. It's 361-562-4834. Okay. Do you have a blast? Yeah, man, I, it's unbelievable how many fish we caught that were going to be the biggest fish of the day, and we caught like five or six of them. Okay. Well, it won't be our last trip, man. All right, yeah. man. We'll, we'll appreciate see you. it. All right, Thanks, brother. Man. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, it's set to not take ugly oh, people it's taking pictures. A, a, it's Right? <laughs> yeah, <they're> like... <laughs> that is so weird, dude. Just tires, a bunch of beer cans, and some stacked rocks.
Sean is showing us how to drive Mexican. Uh-huh. <laughs> that makes you an idiot. That's what I'm doing. Bro, it's a Pro DD70. Down 20-foot. Probably 10, 12 foot. He's got it all in him. There we go. Nice little bass. 